Welcome to Ararat Healthcare and Child Cost Learning Centre, your one-stop solution for IELTS, OET, CBT and OSCE training, as well as uh, recruitment to achieve your dream to be a registered nurse in the UK. To enhance your chances of passing your OSCE on the first attempt, please visit our website on www.charcoslearningcentre.com to register and book our unique OSCE portal consisting of videos, reading material and quizzes. This registration not only gives you access to the portal, you will also receive five complimentary online classroom style sessions and a mock OSCE test. So don't delay your achieving your dreams any longer and sign up now. CSU. This is a clean procedure and so you don't need sterile gloves. You will be given 15 minutes to collect a sample of urine from a catheter. You can either use a tray or a trolley to transport your equipment. Please remember that CSU has an aseptic element to it, so you must make sure that the tip of the syringe doesn't get contaminated whilst you transfer it into the specimen bottle. in the room, checking it's safe to do so before I approach my patient and do my hand hygiene. Using the gel, palm to palm, palm to palm, fingers interlaced, fingers interlaced, palm to palm, fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, tips of the fingers, tips of the fingers, rotation of the thumb, and finally the wrists. Hello. Hello. My name's Julie, I'm one of the nurses here. Um, I'm going to be looking after you this afternoon. May I know your name, please? My name is Helen Craig. Okay, and what would you like to be called? Helen. Helen, okay. Um, Helen, would you be able to tell me your date of birth, please? Yes, it is 6th of June, 1950. Do you mind if I just double check that with your wristband? No, please go ahead. Okay, so Helen Craig, date of birth, 6th of June, 1950, and... Um, your hospital number is F001, F001HC, F001001HC. Helen, I see that you've got a, a red wristband on here. Do, do you have an allergy at all? Yes, I'm allergic to penicillin. And what happens when you take penicillin? I get rash all over my body and my throat swells up. Okay, so when did that happen? Uh, it, uh, it hasn't happened recently. I've been quite careful. Okay. Well, we'll make sure that you don't get any penicillin whilst you're here because it is written on your notes as well and you've got your red wristband on. So, um, Do you have any uh, other allergies that you're aware of, perhaps to any adhesives or dressings at all? No, I'm fine with everything else. Okay. So the reason I've come here... I need to take a sample of your urine from your catheter. Okay. Um, I know you've been spiking a, a, the odd temperature here and there, so we just want to make sure that it isn't an underlying urine infection that's um, going on. Is that okay? Okay. Um, so in order to do that, I don't need to um, get you exposed or anything. It will actually be from the tube, but it doesn't actually hurt or anything. The only thing is that I will need to cl clamp the catheter, so you might feel a little bit of pressure building up in your um, abdomen, in your... Um, bladder. Was that okay? Okay. Okay. It was now would be a convenient time to do that? Oh, um, yes. Okay. So I'm going to pull the curtains and give you some privacy. And what I'm going to do first of all, Helen, is to clamp the catheter. Okay? Okay. Um, as I say, that might give you a little bit of pressure in your tummy, but it won't be for long. And as soon as I unclamp uh, the, ca uh, the catheter, it will be relieved again. Okay? Okay. So I'm putting on clean non-sterile gloves and I am going to clamp the catheter. So Helen I'm just going to go and grab my bits and pieces that I need um, and dispose of these gloves, wash my hands and I'll be uh, back to do that. Is that okay? Okay. Um, so I'll leave you with your call bell. Should you need anything at all just give us a, a press of the buzzer and we'll be straight back. Okay? Okay. Okay. Be back in a sec. So I'm going to wash my hands, making sure to use the elbows, wetting my hands, applying some soap, palm to palm, palm to back, 
palm to palm, fingers interlaced, fingers interlocked, rotation of the thumb, tips of the fingers, and the wrists. Then I am going to rinse. using hand towels from the tips of the fingers down to the wrists. I'm going to make sure my hands are dry. Dispose of the towel in the domestic waste. Making sure that my hands are thoroughly dry. So Helen, I'm back. Yeah, hello. Are uh, you not too uncomfortable, are you? No, I'm fine. Okay, so let's get on with this, shall we? Okay. I'm just going to lift the bottom of your blanket up to get to your catheter. Is that okay? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to place your catheter over a clean receiver. Okay. I've got my 20 mil syringe and the bottle, okay. So, I am going to clean the port for 30 seconds and allow it to dry for 30 seconds. Dispose of that. Then, with the syringe, at a 45 degree angle, I am going to withdraw 20 mils of urine. 20 mils of urine, let it go back with the SteriWipe. I'm going to clean the port again and let that go. Now making sure that I don't contaminate the edges of the bottle, the lid of the bottle or the syringe. I need to remove the lid and place the urine in the syringe carefully. On. giving that a shake to allow for the preserving acid to dissolve, removing my equipment. I'm going to take off the glove from my dominant hand which allows me to use my pen to fill this out. So, Helen Craig, uh, 6 of the 6, 1950. Today's date and the correct time. Then on the form, again, I need to fill out patient details. So Craig, Helen, F001001HC, 6 of the 6, uh, 1950, female, this ward. Clinical details are uh, temperature. Query UTI, uh, capita sample, collection date is today, time is now, signed by myself as uh, staff nurse. Um, I'm going to make sure that the sample is sealed in a sample bag and the form remains with it. Okay, that's all done, Helen. With my remaining gloved hand, I'm going to unclamp your catheter. And with my um, clean hands only, I'm going to return your blanket. That's all done, Helen. Okay? Okay. Um, is there anything else I can do for you whilst I'm here? 
Okay, so I will make sure that this sample gets sent off as soon as possible. Um, if it can't be sent immediately, I'm going to store it in the fridge. It can remain in the fridge for up to four hours. And if it hasn't gone after the four hours, we will need to discard it and get an, uh, another sample. But um, for, I will go and endeavour to send this off now, okay? Okay. I'm going to clear my stuff here and I'm going to make sure that it's noted in your uh, nursing notes that a sample has been taken and sent off so that you don't keep getting pestered and people wanting to repeat it. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah, thank you. So I'm going to leave you with your call bell. Should you need anything, just um, use that and one of us will be around, okay? Okay. Opening the curtains, taking my equipment with me to um, dispose of everything and wash my hands.